Hey, 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 it's another Sunday evening. It's time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in. I'm Terri Ann Hyman from Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Tonight, we're going to talk about standing on the edge. We're in the last week of summer. We're moving into the fall. And right now, we're so close to that edge. How can you do that? How can you realign your spirit, let go of the old, and move into the new? That's what we're going to talk about. So come on in. Join us. Take a few moments to really focus your energy for the week. It's been a big week. We have another one ahead of us, especially with that new moon coming in. Lots of energy going around, as always. So join me tonight. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to look at how we can help our own self, our own spirit, realign as we stand on the edge in between the seasons. How is it for you? What is it for you? Is it hard? You know, lots of times I'm like that summer baby. I love the summer. I don't really want to let go of the summer. I want to kind of hang out, long days, being outside. What about you? Are you ready to let it go, move right into the fall? How do you hang on to the seasons? Comment below. Let me know. How do you hang on to the seasons? You ready to move into the new one? Or do you like to linger? I know for me, usually, usually, I like to hang in the summer. But this year's a little different. This summer, I'm kind of ready. I have so much going on. I'm out there. I want to move into that new season. Let me know below. What is it for you? Do you have trouble letting go of the season, or do you really like to move forward, right? Last night, we were talking about, um, in the Empowered Spirit Circle, we were talking about really standing in our truth, being brave, standing out there. Benet Brown has her new book out. We're all kind of discussing where we were and how we were feeling. So how are you feeling right now on your own spiritual path? I'd love to know. Comment below. Are you hard to let go of energy? Is it hard for you to let go of energy? Or is it easy? Something that you really appreciate doing? Give me a thumbs up. I see some thumbs, some hearts. So yay. Thanks for coming in. If you've been joining me on Sunday night and this has been helpful, let me know that too. Give it a share. Share it out with others. I'm actually going to do the same. I'm going to look for it and I'm going to share it to my group. Yay. Hey, Cindy, I see you joining in. Yay. Time to focus our energy for the week. How is it for you right now? Is it easy to let go? Are you ready to move into that next season? Right? We're standing on the edge. Today, we were out at the medicine wheel. It was really nice, really beautiful, had a great group out there, and we were really looking at what it was to stand on that edge. What is it for you? Standing on that edge, is it something that you like to do? We're so close to the end of summer, moving right into the beginning of fall, and so we do. We have to cross that edge. I like it. How about you? Do you like to be out there? Is it something that's easy for you or is it a little hard sometimes? We have so many different ways of looking at it. And one of the things that we've been talking about is creativity and how creativity can feed that spirit and can help you guys to really do what you need to do, especially as we make these season changes, right? I love the season changes. I really feel like it helps us to really come into who we are, to realign our energy you know, hey, sometimes we get really far off from where our path is. And sometimes it's hard to pull back, right? Well, I find that the I find that the seasonal changes can help us to really realign, step back into our path, own up to who we are, right? And can help us to really push off too and push out. When we need to stand forward. Right now, that's exactly what the world is asking us to do. Stand up. Be strong in your spirit. And as we move through the seasons, I think this is exactly how we can do it. What about you? What helps you to let go of one season into the other? So today at the medicine wheel is beautiful out. We have those paths in the medicine wheel, right? We have the center and the spokes come out that mark the cardinal directions. So as we stand right very close to that direction of the west, that's where we honor the season of fall, we can stand on our edge. How is that for you? Is it hard? Does it make you afraid? I know for me, it's taken me a while to be able to stand on that edge without having fear, but not for everybody. Some people can embrace it and feel like that big change is coming and it's really empowering. Some people get timid. 
I know for you, I've had to really learn how to open up, find the confidence for my creative abilities, for my spiritual abilities, and help share it with others. That actually empowers my soul, empowers me when I can share this, help others, support others. And that's exactly where we are right now. That's exactly what the energy is calling for us. So this week, as we go into this week, we're going to start out a little funny on Monday. Tuesday is going to be a little bit cosmically like, oh my goodness, dark of the moon. You might feel a little bit of that dark and shadow within you too. Wednesday is new moon. All right, Wednesday is when you want to start writing out those wishes. It's early in the morning, I think um, Eastern time, 1.30 a.m. in the morning. So basically when you wake up, write out your wishes. Again, we handwrite them, put them. I intend, I wish. That's our focus for this week because that leads right into the equinox on Friday. Right? We have fall, officially fall. Yay. So look what those intentions are for you. How many of you guys set your intentions? Hmm? Give me a thumbs up if you do. How many of you have set those wishes and those intentions as we move into the new moon? Well, it's a double whammy this, this week because we have the new moon Wednesday and then we come up on the equinox on Friday. So this is really offering us that ability to really focus, stand on your edge, put your work out there, really enjoy. Yay, Kathy, you do. Yay, that's good to hear, right? Really enjoy this new seasonal change, all right? We've been outside. I love that outward energy. I love the summer. All right, this summer was hot, right? I know down here in the South, it was really hot, and it fired up a lot of our energies. Now we need to let that go because the fall starts to pull us in, right? By the time we get to winter, we really are within ourselves, all right? We have some comments here. Yay, Millie. She says yes. Cindy says she needs to. All right, so do this. Think about what you can let go from the summer. We're going to focus the meditation on that so that you can let it go, burn it away. Energy follows intention. And so that you can then come into the fall fresh, realigned, and strong, really empowered in your spirit. That's what's really important as we move through these seasonal changes. That's exactly what we need to do. All right, so think about it as you go through this week. What can you let go of, especially tomorrow, today, tomorrow, Tuesday even, Wednesday is when we start really letting it go. We write out our intentions. That's the new moon energy. All right, don't let the shadows get you. All right, it gets a little dark out there in the new moon, but don't let it get you. Really feel yourself empowered to write down. Really write it down. Don't just think it. Write it down and empower those thoughts. And then as we move into Friday with the equinox and the seasonal change, it's a time to stand on the edge again. Pull your spirit back in. Pull your daily habits back into a good way, right? It's like clean up your diet, clean up your exercise, clean up your spirit. Really stand on that edge of who you are. That's exactly what the universe is asking us to do right now. So let's take that energy and take a nice deep inhale. And let's just open up to the cards. I actually... I actually drew them today up at the medicine one with everyone around. We had a great conversation about them. So I'm going to share the cards we drew because it was that intention on standing at the edge as we come into this new season. All right, I drew four cards and we looked at the bottom card, which is always our emphasis when we look at the bottom card, like kind of the focus there a bit. And I love the fact that it was a two of wands. All right, the two of wands, it is about duality. Twos are about dualities, but it's also about direction, making a choice in your life. Wands is our passion, our desires. You see how they're pointed together? All right, you see the rainbow behind it? It is leading you on a direction. So choose that direction. All right, don't go too far off in one or the other. Choose that direction for you right now. Focus in. That's exactly what we're heading into for the new season, the harvesting of the work we've done. So look at your work. What's working? What can you harvest and offer gratitude? And that is a direction for you to really focus in, all right? Focus in on that. Now, the card that comes up to help us with this, that is our anchor card, is the High Priestess, all right? There she is. She's sitting there very proud, very strong, very quiet, noticing all aspects. She's got the moon energy above her, the globe in her hand. The High Priestess is all about the mystical schools, right? All about owning that psychic knowledge, the mystical knowledge of who we are, where humanity is right now, and where your purpose fits into this. Own that energy. That's the influence as we move through this week and stand on that edge. Now, the cards that come in to support us, I love it. They're so balanced. We got the Mother and the Father of Wands. 
Beautiful balance. The mother is the beautiful protector of energy, right? She's a snake there. She's got her babies in there. She's a beautiful energy of protecting the home, protecting the family. All right, the seasons are changing. Pull that energy in. Look at that nice, beautiful circle. Look at that fire behind her. All right, she's got that energy balanced by the male energy. All right, a little more yang, a little more creative, a little more charismatic out there. It's got that lightning bolt coming down. So yes, we need both in our lives. Where can you balance your energy right now as you move through the seasons? Where do you need to pull back? Where do you need to push forward? Both of these are helping us to do that. And right in the middle sits judgment. I love it because this card really isn't so much about judging as it is about looking at both sides, being fair to what's going on. Where can you bring that in back into balance? Because when you do, look what lifts up. Freedom, aha, connection, understanding of your path. And that's going to, again, feed right back into the high priestess, knowing what your job is, knowing what you're doing, carrying that wisdom, that psychic energy with you as you fuel that passion, that direction in your life. Honor that direction. Be grateful for it. Really important. Very important. And then find the balance on both sides, all right? Sometimes that's what's living in the edge does this for us, right? It really helps us to see how far out we can go in one direction, how far out we go in the other, and then back to the middle down the path. Now, as we move into the season of fall, this is great information for us. We've just come from the summer. We've watched and we've nurtured and we've grown a lot of aspects of our life. Then we come into the fall and we start harvesting them. We start appreciating what we're doing. All right, sometimes in the, in the direction of the fall and in the west, all right, the sun sets, all right, we have that fire, that passion. And sometimes we have struggles there. Sometimes we recognize what's not working. All right, and this is where we offer gratitude for that too because then it helps us to learn the lessons and be grateful for what it is that we are doing. So that's the focus that we have for this week. The first two days is going to be a little bit of the shadow side coming forward, dark of the moon, Wednesday's new moon. Put your intentions out there. That's that focus. That's that direction. Very intentional on this week, all right? Then we come into Friday with a change of seasons. Find the balance for you. We do, we have that. We have that balance, right? I didn't even think about that, but that is what it's about. The balance, the equinox, equal day, equal night. Perfect. I love it. I can't even, we didn't even talk about that today, but there you go. That's what we have when we have the equinox. Let go of the judgment, all right? Look at both sides. Examine both sides and find that balance for you. And then that freedom will come forward. You'll get that aha moment that you've been looking for, all right? Take a nice deep inhale. And let's just take a moment and let's energetically do the same. Let's like light a little sage just for another couple minutes. Close your eyes if you can. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale out. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Exhale out the excess energy. And just ask yourself right now, what can I let go of from the summer? What can I leave behind in the direction of the south? inhaling bringing that breath up and just imagine whatever it is fear anxiety something didn't work and just turn a bright red turn a bright red and let it be transformed out just imagine it all transforming out for you let go no need to hold on to it come into the fall fresh come into this new moon with new intentions so let the other go away Energy can never be trans, trans, energy can never be destroyed, only transformed. Let it transform for you right now as we move through the seasons. Take a nice deep inhale, feel the breath coming up into the heavens, and exhale, feel it going all the way back down. Feel it being burned away from one season to the next. Feel that alignment, bring in spiritual body over the physical body, shoulders over shoulders, knees over knees, feet over feet. Feel that alignment for you. Inhaling, finding that balance as you exhale out. As deep as you go down, inhale all the way back up. Exhale, bring the breath all the way back down as you ground your energy for this week. Letting go of the old. Burn away what doesn't serve. Leave it in the, se leave it in the season. Find that edge that you can stand on as you move into a new season. Find that spirit within you that can open up. Take a nice deep inhale. Feel yourself grounding and focused. Exhale away. 
coming back. Good. So again, know these first couple of days, dark of the moon. Wednesday, new intentions. Don't forget to set them. Friday is the seasonal change. Start welcoming that spirit as you stand on the edge and begin to feel it pulling in as we honor that seasonal change. One of the things we talk about, and we'll be talking about this next week, next couple of weeks as we move into the fall, is how creativity can inspire our spirit. Very important, and how our spirit can inspire our creativity. And actually, too, how being creative does keep you standing on that edge. How important getting into your art, getting into the creative aspects of your life can keep you on that edge in a good way. We'll be talking tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. We're going to be talking to Devin Watson. She's one that really loves taking the risk and really fuels her from standing on the edge. Versus me, sometimes I can get a little bit fearful, but I'm learning to open up and let that fear, as we talked to Melissa Scott last week, let that fear inspire us, knowing we're opening up to something even bigger. So join us tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. We have a lot of fun with her and her discussion about Devon Salon, her, her hair salon, what she's doing actually too for Sweet Home Alabama Cut-a-thon. Check it out. She may have some appointments open. Yes, Sweet Home Alabama goes into their fundraiser week this week up in Vulcan, Global Mala. We kick it off Thursday night. I'll be at Trim Tab reading more cards. So come around. You want to have your Wild Unknown? I'm going to have a couple of different decks for you to choose. So come find us there, too. And that'll be on Thursday, right in time to move into the new season changes. We'll be up at Vulcan Saturday morning. Be there, too. So take a nice deep inhale. Know that you can direct your spirit. Know that that creative energy is all around to empower you to be who you are as you move through this change. Take this energy out into the week. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. We'd love to have you. Have great conversations. I'm very grateful for the community. Last night, I don't know, 10 o'clock, we, we were back and forth in the group talking and chatting and supporting each other. So come find us. Come join us. Thank you, group. I love you guys so much. I love the inspiration and the support. So I appreciate it so much. All right, I'll be on tomorrow, 12, the Empowered Spirit Show .com, Blog Talk Radio. Check it out. Have a great week. Enjoy the new season as it comes forward for you. To your spirit, namaste. Share it.